Hi there, Leo. This is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm going to be doing your July 2017 monthly reading. This is intended to be a general reading. Whatever comes up will come up. I've done some playing with the, with the tablecloth this morning, so. This is for Leo, dear God, spirits, universe, and angels. Please come to me now and assist me with everybody that I am about to read for today. This is for Leo. July 2017. The birds are pretty loud this morning. What does Leo need to know this month? I don't care about the sound. You know, if you hear something in the background, then so be it. It's meant to be. And if the picture gets screwed up, well, that sucks too. But it is, you know, this is a no professional organization, so there's... No use bitching about it. Um, that's the way it goes. I read to help others. It's not about how I appear. Okay, it's not. This is for Leo. <clears throat> You've been paying to attention to your dreams, Leo? I hear dreams starting to come true. Thank you to all the subscribers, likes, commenters, watchers, and bookings. I have been very busy, so I appreciate that. What else do you have for Leo? If this doesn't resonate with you, check your moon sign or your rising sign or both. And if it still doesn't resonate, then, you know, your free will plays a part. And perhaps I'm not the, the reader for you. Is there any power and control issues? Or are you taking back control? We're starting a new journey, I see. With a little bit of resistance still. Perhaps Prince Charming is uh, helping you along the way. <clears throat> but you're still conflicted, Leo. You're still conflicted about something. Perhaps there's been some minor... Um, uh, what's the word? Minor um, conflicts. Just minor. Very minor, but they're there. Alright. Looks like you're resisting with your money. <coughs> For some reason, you're being too frivolous with your money. Perhaps you've dished out a little bit too much and now you need to um, save it. Alright. Um, it looks like you are still on your new journey. You know, you're, you're still, you still have that hope and faith that you've had and you are walking in the right direction. Perhaps you finally have control of your life. You are, you are feeling very in control of your life. Um, I see that you, you know, your dreams are starting to come true. There's a lot of love. There is. There's a lot of love in your life right now, Leo. Um, we have the Aries person, that's the second card, that's a mother or a father. Um, or it's you taking the control, alright? Taking back your own control. That's been lost for a while. This is July. First week of July.
There you are. And there you are again. You're worried. You're worried about something. <sighs> Perhaps you, there's, I mean, you know what this card is. This is lies and deceit that affects your dreams, you know, that you've had. Perhaps you've become aware of something. Could have to do with a mother or father. And it says, this is who you are. You are very comfortable with who you are. You are strong. Um, you're likable. You're adaptable. You're personal. Personable. You're beautiful you have the ability to manifest I mean you manifested your dreams so you've manifested your dreams and now perhaps um, I mean, you've acted without thinking. You've followed your dreams. And it was an act now, think later. You know, because it was that. It was kind of impulsive. Um, but you did it. You took the risk. And now perhaps you're, you know. This is lies and deceit. Trickery. Unwise decision. Could happen to do with a mother or a father or a boss. Perhaps they think you've made an unwise decision. But you don't care. You took the journey anyway. You're taking your own journey. You aren't you aren't you aren't letting them have in control. You're in control. You're in control of your own journey. That's all there is to it. All right. You've been waiting for this. You've worked hard for this. You have. Whatever this is, you've worked hard for it. <laughs> it's a new life chapter. A new life chapter for you, Leo. Probably where you don't have to worry about money anymore. Sorry about the dog. Apparently there's somebody going over to the neighbors and they've parked in my driveway. And uh, my dog is going batshit crazy. So I will be right back. I'm going to get mad in a minute. Okay, I'm back. I didn't flip out or anything. I just I sat here and I waited for it to go away. So we will see what happens. Oh! This really pisses me off. I'm back again. I still haven't gotten up. I tried to call the neighbors. They're obviously outside dealing with these people. I will give it another whirl and um, we'll see how it goes. I really do love my neighbors. I really do. They happen to be my family, but, um, you know, they need to tell me about this kind of stuff. But anyway, um, it looks like you are, you're starting a new chapter, okay? You have a clear thinking mind. You are following your path. All right? You've thought about it. It wasn't impulsive. They think it was impulsive, but it wasn't impulsive. You've thought about this. And, you know, in the past, you've always been worried about your money. And perhaps with this change, there's going to be no more, no more worries. This is a new chapter in your life, which leads to love. Which leads to love and clarity and truth. It's, it is the truth. It's the truth. And look at how proud. Look at how proud you feel. You do. You feel so good about it. I mean, even if there has been any little conflicts, you're still feeling great. I mean, that's, that's life. There is conflicts. Nothing is going to be rosy forever. Ooh. All right. Perhaps you've met your twin flame, Leo, and you know it, 
and it doesn't matter what anybody else thinks. Perhaps this person up here um, doesn't support you. They think that you've acted too quickly. Maybe they don't support your dreams. You know, it's not it's not your dreams or your dreams. Their dreams are their dreams. Anyway, this is about um, you taking a new step, new direction, a brand new direction, learning a new life lesson. You've learned one, which which involved um, struggling, struggling for money. Okay, your your past, you struggled for money. You know, and it caused a lot of worry. And you've been praying for this new start. You have been. You know? And you have worked on it. Or it's been a long time coming, put it that way. It's been a very long time coming. And no matter who cuts you down or whatever, you know, it's your path, not theirs. It could be a twin flame that you're with. There's definitely a magnetic con connection or attraction. All right? with this person it's a water sign Scorpio Cancer or Pisces and they're making you feel so good despite any minor conflicts this could be a Capricorn but I don't see it as a person really I see it as an energy I see that you are connected to somebody divinely okay and you've you're headed in that direction. That's where your new journey is leading. Perhaps somebody is going to, you know, something unexpected is going to happen. Okay, and it could be concerning this mother, father, or Aries person. Something unexpected is going to happen. This is for the month of July. You know, it's going to, it's going to, this is saying that you are going to need to be strong. You're going to be, you are going to need to pull your strength out. You have it, you're going to have to pull it out. Perhaps, you know, whatever this is, it happens very quickly. You know, it happens very quickly and it involves a new journey. And it's it's been it's been waited for. This has been coming for a while now. It could have to do with an Aries person, mother or father. Okay? It's a new emotion. Okay, you're going to experience a new emotion. Just be strong, okay? Be strong. And and don't worry about any of this. Don't worry about any of this. This is perhaps, you know, you feel like you've betrayed them. Or they betrayed you. I bet you we're going to get a forgiveness card along the way. I bet you we are because I think that you're going to need to do some forgiving. And that's without even pulling any cards. <clears throat> anyway, the universe is here to shake something up for you in July. They are, Leo. The universe is here to show you something unexpected that you are not aware of. And it probably has to do with a mother or a father or an Aries. Uh, it has to do with the Aries and yourself or a mother and a father, put it that way. And it's something that has been expected. It's been, been hanging around for a while. And now it's finally going to happen. Okay. And you're going to need to forgive. And I don't even need to pull a card to tell you that. Forgiveness is in the works for you. That's your next step to oneness. Your next step to becoming mind, body, and spirit is forgiveness. I'm just saying okay and then you move you move to a new a new chapter in your life you move on to a new chapter in your life there could be they could be moving on I mean somebody could be passing away I'm just telling you I hate to say them words but somebody could be passing away you know and moving on 
But it's part of your life. It's, it's part of you. I don't think it's you. I think it's somebody that you know. Um, but it's not you. You're connected to somebody. Um, and I think it's this person. A Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces person. Which you is going to also be in your forward path. They're in your forward future path. Your future journey. Okay, here we have a Libra, Aquarius, Gemini. It's clear thinking. It's the truth. Okay, she offers a clear thought. All right. You know what this is. You're really, really thinking about something. You are. You're considering everything. You're in a time of, cons of contemplation, okay? You just don't know what to think. And I think it has to do with this person, mother, father. I think that, you know, this has been going on for a while. Um, mother, father, Aries. And you're just, you're in a time of... Because the universe is going to bring something unexpected and it's con going to cause you um, a time of contemplation, a time to think this all out and figure this out. And after this contemplation, we have it right here. Look at all these fours. One, two, three, four. Do you know what fours mean? All is well. The angels are with you. The angels are here. They're helping you. They're here. Did you hear me ask them to come in at the beginning of the reading? The angels are here. They're here. Can you see them? Do you know it? Do you know that they're here? They're connected to this person too, just so you know. And you. And you. And the universe is going to um, throw in this tragedy this tragedy and it might make you feel like you've been betrayed you might feel hurt you might choose not to accept it or believe it but it's going to spark you onto your new path now my, my seven year old has just let the dog out <laughs> she's pit bull <laughs> So I shall return. I'm back. And I was thinking as I was out there uh, getting the dog back in the house. All of this has happened for the, a reason. Unex expect the unexpected. Expect the unexpected. Do it. That's your message because I've had to stop this video several times to go deal with unexpected things. Open your eyes to the unexpected. That's a great message for you. Expect the unexpected. And when this unexpected thing comes in, it's going to it's going to move you in a new direction. It is. It's going to move you in a new direction and it might be a little chaotic at first. But you're not doing it alone. You're not doing it alone. You have a partner. Okay? You do. And if the partner's not here yet, the partner is coming. It's somebody that you are divinely connected to. All right? It's probably a water sign. It could be an air sign. And this is for the month of July. Let's get some clarification for Leo. Expect the unexpected. I will. <laughs> you never know what's going to happen. Ever. Expect it. Be ready for it. Have your eyes open, not closed. 
And if there's something that you need to do now to forgive, because that came early, up earlier, if you need to forgive somebody right now, do it. Do it. Even if you feel betrayed, when you are one truly with yourself, mind, body, and spirit, you can forgive. That is the ultimate strength, is forgiveness. Perhaps you need to forgive somebody. Because you need to, you never know what tomorrow brings. I think we've heard this before for you. You're not alone. You're starting this new journey with somebody else. It may be a little chaotic at first, but it's meant to be, and you're feeling good. I mean, even though you're, it's chaotic, you're feeling really good. Moving forward, moving on. We have this queen again. And this is the truth. Okay, this is like I said, she brings the truth. Didn't I tell you that? You have it you have it twice. <coughs> when this unexpected thing happens, when this does happen and it's, it's something unexpected is going to happen. You don't know what it is. Okay. You're gonna be doing this. You have this twice. Clearing away all that no longer serves you. When it when you start a new journey, a new path with this world card, you clear away. You clear away what no longer serves you. An important achievement, self-discipline and willpower, public recognition. This is the chariot. This is forward movement. Okay, headed in the right direction. You are headed in the right direction. No more fear. You're moving forward. All right? Your mental strength increases. Your balance increases. You are in the driver's seat. This is what this is, and it's right in the middle of your reading. Right with this world card. Finally, okay, towards the middle to the end of July, you are in the driver's seat of your life. For real. For real. There's nothing holding you back. No rejection. All right. No criticism. You're in the driver's seat. And that is an important achievement, Leo. Congratulations. And here, this is this is earlier. The need for balance and moderation. Comp cooperation and compromise. Wait for perfect timing. cooperation and compromise you might have to compromise to forgive I don't know I see forgiveness here and I don't think it's I think it's you doing the forgiving perhaps you need to forgive yourself and you need to forgive some other person probably an Aries or a mother or father and you really need to do it because you expect the unexpected you never know what could happen The angels are here. They're with you. All right. They're with you. They've been helping you. They hear you. They're with this person too. All is well. The angels are here. Can we get any romance out of this? For Leo, is there any romance this month? It doesn't look like there's romance to me. Yeah, somebody's with you and they are your partner and they're holding your hand and they are supporting you. You're lucky. Hopefully that's the case for most of you. If it's not, then later on down the line it should come. <clears throat> but right now, this is this will resonate for whoever it resonates for. Um, I don't think it's about romance this month. I think it's about um, forgiving your parents <laughs> and I think it's about your parents this month and not seeing what could happen and, and not using your time wisely you wait you wait for perfect timing the time is now just saying like I said I don't think this is about romance this month 
you've had a lot of that, it's time to, to contemplate on other things. I mean, religious factors. Your love life is influenced by your religious upbringing and spiritual path. So you can take religious right out of there. Your love life is influenced by your upbringing and spiritual path. It has. And who brought you up? Your parents. It's influenced by your parents. Your love life is influenced by your parents. It's time to balance that shit out. And you can really only balance it once you forgive and move on. You have to forgive. I see that forgiveness is a big thing this month for you. Oh. And this one. Someone from your past is returning to your life of reconciliation. And that's right here with this person. Like I said, if they haven't if they haven't shown up yet, they are coming. They are, I see it. It's here. You're moving forward towards love and happiness in a twin flame. There is a little bit of romance. I mean, there's a twin flame in your life. If you haven't met them yet, they are coming. I feel it. I know it. It's been long awaited. Perhaps this person has always held you back. I don't know why. You know, it's a power and control issue. These people, are they want the power, they want the control, and they don't give it away. You have to forgive that shit. And you like to have your own power, too. I mean, you're both fire signs. So it's, there's definitely some um, conflicts. Um, so I guess your message for the month is forgiveness. That's your message for the month. And expect the unexpected, as you can see from the uh, what we just went through. Expect the unexpected. That, that was all meant to happen so that I could give you that message. It's, it was already here anyway. It was already here. The cards had already said it. I just hadn't said those words. Expect the unexpected. Anybody could show up and change it in an instant. And this is instant. So that is what I have for you, Leo. I hope you enjoyed your July reading. Um, it was quite eventful, as your month of July will be. Um, that's what I have. I appreciate everything, um, and I wish you the best of luck. I will be doing a love reading, and I might do the weekly readings. You know, I'll get to that. This was meant to be a general reading, and, that, and it was a beautiful one. It really was, because I... I hope that I have convinced you to forgive.